Okay, so this building should look familiar. This is the Taj Mahal. It is in Agra, India, and it is made out of white marble. White marble is a very precious material, and it was typical um, in Indian architecture, reserved for the interiors of Mughal tombs of holy men. Uh, this also includes semi-precious stones, including turquoise, garnet, lapis lazuli. They also include coral, which would have been from the Indian Sea, which shows how uh, much how important this building is. It was built between 632 and I'm sorry, 1632 and 1648 by Shah Jahan. He ruled from 1628 to 1658. And he built this building, the Taj Mahal, as a mausoleum for his favorite wife. Her name was Mumtaz, M-U-M-T-A-Z, Mahal. She died in childbirth with their 14th child, and he was very distraught. So Shah Jahan had uh, decided to build the grandest mausoleum for his favorite wife. Shah Jahan had taken over a prosperous empire in a time of peace and then with because of that he was able to dedicate 20,000 laborers for 15 years in the construction of this tomb. At one point Shah Jahan grew ill and uh, his son Aurangzeb he assumed power thinking that he would die and he wanted to position himself so that he would be the successor to Shah Jahan since he had so many children. However, Shah Jahan didn't die right away. He, um, when he didn't die right away, his son put him under house arrest in an Agra fort that was located across the river. Uh, now this was done as a power grab, but also it was seen as a kind place to put him he was given a room where he could see the Taj Mahal and see where the building is for his favorite wife. It reflects his personal love and devotion for this wife. And given that this is the first major architectural project undertaken during his reign, it signals the strength and authority as a ruler due to the large scale of the project. To build the Taj Mahal, materials were taken from South Asia, but they also had precious and semi-precious stones imported from all over, from Central Asia, West Asia, Egypt. Uh, mother of Pearl and Coral were came out of the Indian Ocean. To the west of the building is a mosque, and on the opposite building, was probably a rest house, um, but it was placed there only for symmetry because you can't have, if you look in the center, you have the Taj Mahal, and then on the west side would have been the mosque, and if you have one building on this side and no building on this side, it would have been unbalanced, and so that's why there are these two buildings here. And these two buildings are made out of red sandstone, but their domes mimic the onion dome that is the center of the Taj Mahal. And that onion dome is directly over the tomb of uh, Mumtaz Mahal. Um, so the red sandstone from those buildings also makes the white marble tomb stand out even more. And the tomb is also raised on a higher platform than these structures, which emphasizes its importance. So we're seeing a big change in India in which type of architecture is more important. Other parts of the Islamic faith, uh, a mausoleum would not have given, been given this much significance, but we're seeing that alter in, uh, in India. Here's another view of what the Taj Mahal looks like, a little bit of a closer, lower view. So you could see the water uh, right here. You can also see the waterways that are included. Uh, so the mosque is over here, and then this is the rest building, and then we could see the mausoleum from the top up here. Um, other materials used on here is um, the minarets other uh, you can see the minarets that flank the tomb and that's something 
that remember minarets were supposed to be used as a call to prayer but instead these minarets flank the tomb um, rather than the mosque and there are three levels on the minarets which correspond to the three levels of the tomb and that creates more cohesion between the separate parts. Each minaret is crowned with a pavilion. You can see, if you look up here on these pictures, an area with the, you could, um, you know, climbing up a staircase, get to the top and look out. And these were called uh, Shatri, C-H-A-T-T-R-I. And that's a common uh, thing in Indian palaces, and it's made its way into Islamic structures. Now the minarets were uh, to act more like a picture frame directing our view to the onion shaped dome and uh, the shatris also appear on the four corners of the outer dome so it's also included uh, within the central structure. Uh, the portals are framed with verses of the Quran though so we can see that here. On this one, we could see uh, Quranic script and then also highly um, stylized decorations that are definitely more reflective of Islamic um, art. And um, also, the use of the landscape is important. If I go back to this picture here, the it was very intentional what was put in the landscape. Uh, the gardens start to evoke paradise. And in Shah Kahan's time, it would have been planted with fruit trees and then also cypress trees. Uh, fruit trees are symbolic of life and cypress trees are symbolic of death. And that is why the intent behind them are there. Okay, so remember this structure is a tomb. So I'm going to show you guys. Oh, here's another picture where you could see the two mosques. Um, I'm sorry, the mosque, Taj Mahal, and the other building that flank it. And you can see how the red, what, the red sandstone really makes the white marble pop in the um, skyline. Okay, this is the inside of what it looks like. And uh, the inside of the tomb evokes the eight paradises of Islam. There were eight small chambers that ring around an octagonal frame and the corridors then permit circumambulation. Um, so we could see here there were marble screens that surround the tombs. Um, remember the, the Shah Jahan's wife was here. Um, she has the larger tomb, but Shah Jahan was also um, entombed here and um, buried to her right. And then her, their feet both faced the south which makes them closer to the Kaaba, and that is required by Islam. So this beautiful building is called the Taj Mahal, and it is in Agra, India, and it is one of the most well-known architectural structures in the world.